Ed DeRosa with Twin Spires. Very pleased to be in trainer Brad Cox's very busy shed row. Very busy ahead of a big Louisiana Derby day for you, Brad. Mm -hmm. And we're with one of the stars of the show, Risen Star Stakes winner Mandaloon. Yeah, no, he's training extremely well. Looking forward to the challenge tomorrow of uh, the Louisiana Derby, and he's all set. It looks like uh, maybe a local rivalry brewing of sorts. Uh, he was third in the Lacombe, mm -hmm. turned the tables on Proxy and Midnight Bourbon in the Risen Star. Uh, was that the real Mandaloon in that race? Yeah, I believe so, and I do feel like he's moved forward since then. So, you know, I think he's going to have to, and then, you know, hopefully uh, if all goes well uh, Saturday, you know, we can take a next step forward to the Kentucky Derby. But, you know, one race at a time, and, you know, I feel like we're in a good spot with him. You not only have Mandaloon, but also a champion essential quality. And I'm always curious with uh, trainers of your stature and the horses you have. How many times do owners ask you, hey, Brad, which one's really better? You know, honestly, uh, with, with this colt, uh, Central Quality and Kettle River, um, you know, I've had a couple people ask me. And you know, honestly, I, I mean, being honest, and I know it's, I would, they're all different, <laughs> but they're all very, very good. And, you know, uh, it's a, we still have a little ways to the Kentucky Derby, and I, I wouldn't trade any of them with the, in spots with anybody. Obviously, Caddo, you know, didn't perform the way we were hoping last weekend. We're gonna hopefully come back in the Arkansas Derby, and then, uh, you know, essential to the Bluegrass, and this uh, this guy's gonna get a shot tomorrow in the um, in the uh, Louisiana Derby. All right, and uh, Florent Giroux up on Mandaloon, and uh, you've had a lot of success with Flo. Of course, he mm -hmm. rides one of the biggest stars in racing, a Montemoy girl as well. Uh, what what led to that relationship, and you've stuck with it and had a lot of success? You know, he uh, we kind of connected several years uh, ago down here in, at the fairgrounds. He was actually he had come out of Chicago and uh, started here one meet, and I think we went two races with him one weekend on the grass, going long. Um, and, uh, you know, it just worked out really well. We, you know, I kind of um, uh, got off to a good start there. And, and it's, you know, he started coming to Kentucky. And, you know, obviously we're Kentucky-based. And it, uh, it's, it's, it's worked out really well. So mm -hmm. hopefully, uh, you know, we can, we can get one of these uh, Colts to the Derby and uh, not just be a Derby horse, but, you know, factor in the race. Right. So we'll see how and it goes. You uh, even got him to spend the winter at Oaklawn. I know he's usually down here. And I was getting some oysters yesterday, and he sent me a DM. I think he's missing the food here versus, <laughs> yeah. versus Hot Springs. Yeah, no doubt. It's, you know, he, it's worked out well. He's done some, you know, traveling. Obviously, he made a run or two to Santa Anita this winter and stuff. So uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it, it, it made the most sense, I think, for our stable and him to be at Oakland some, or more so than usual, but obviously he's come back on the big days and uh, been effective. A lot of focus on the males with the million dollar Twin Spires Louisiana Derby, but of course uh, the Fairgrounds Oaks is Saturday as well, and you have travel column and other local rivalries you take on Clarier again. Yeah, it's our, it's uh, I guess the rubber match. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, you know, I, I thought she drew well. I don't mind being on the outside the way the race looks like it could possibly shape up. Uh, she's another one that's she's trained well all winter. I mean, she's so consistent in her works, and you know, really gives you what you want to see in the mornings and. Uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully we can turn the tables on Clarier. She's a, obviously a very, very good filly, and, uh, you know, um, it's, uh, like I said, the rubber match, and hopefully we'll uh, get the better of her this Saturday. <laughs> but, you know, both fillies are nice, and, you know, this is a very good race overall. I mean, there's, they're not the only two fillies in the race, and it's uh, definitely this has been the path to be on the path through Louisiana as far as getting to the Oaks and being successful, the Kentucky Oaks, that is. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it unfolds tomorrow. That's a perfect segue because I did want to ask you about the path through Louisiana. It seems like Louisiana Derby uh, Country House did run in it, but it's been a long time since a winner has been a Derby factor, yet the Phillies, oh, yeah. major players in the Oaks. Uh, is that just happenstance uh, or you know, is there? I don't, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but I mean, listen, if you, if you got the horse um, and you, got, you know, they're, they're good enough, I think, you know, you, you can, you can be the horse. You, you can, get to the win the derby through Louisiana and I mean you know obviously we're hoping this is this is the coal here that can can do that um, and, and you know obviously a central quality train here he won't run here but you know he, he's another one that's definitely in the mix so uh, this is a real horse here I mean we've always liked him uh, he, he's, he's a good colt he has the pedigree to do it I uh, guess you know I, I think honestly uh, you know you can't knock him he runs the figures he has right. the style um, and I think a mile and a quarter is going to be what he wants so and he gets a uh, mile and three sixteenths tomorrow yeah so yeah, yeah. and then plenty of time from... to recover you know six weeks uh, right uh, you know some people think it's too far out but I, I don't if a horse is doing well and they're training right leading up to a race there's nothing wrong with six weeks between a between efforts so uh, excited about uh, the shot to show him off tomorrow